will you accept the plan, the call that God has on your life? I'm sitting right here in traffic and I'm thinking about how I've been slacking on YouTube and on and off and I got some videos recorded. I haven't edited them yet to upload them, but this one is uploading tonight, Tuesday, August the 9th, 2022. And I'm gonna look back on it and be like, man, look at that. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good time right there. But I'm in a traffic uh, jam right now, waiting for the traffic to let up. And I decided, hey, I'm gonna take advantage of all the time I have. I just came from a, uh, a event for entrepreneurs Charlotte entrepreneurs, well, Charlotte millennial entrepreneurs, well, CLT millennial entrepreneurs. Oh man, you want to go? You go ahead. Go ahead, woman. Go ahead. Anyway, and I was thinking about the videos I got planned, so I want to have a strategy and come to you guys and be able to be consistent with the videos I wanted to make. And I just want to ask you. Are you going to accept the call that God has in your life? Like, will you put aside your own desires and plans, knowing that He knows the desires of your heart and that He can fulfill everything that you need and more, and that He already has a plan? Like, once you give God your yes, you're telling God, The plan I got up for my life, I'm giving it to you. The plan I got for my life, I'm giving it to you. And once you understand that meaning behind that yes that you give to God, yes, God, I'm giving up my life as a living sacrifice to live for you, to follow you, to walk in the call that you have on my life. Because we can all run. We can all run from the call. We can say, yes, God, uh, I'll receive your salvation. I know you went and sent your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins and to forgive me so that I may receive his salvation. You know, something that I may do. I might not do it, you know, but I may do it. And he's worthy just for that, you know. It's, it's not a guarantee that I'm going to give my life to Christ. Well, not me. You know, but it's not a guarantee that you're going to give your life to Christ. It's that you may give your life to Christ, receive your salvation. Well, you may believe to receive the salvation, that you may believe that. I'm looking on the side, I opened up my laptop. Like I said, I'm sitting right here in the uh, in a traffic jam, leaving this event. And I already talked about putting your putting your plans aside, the plans that you have for your life aside and realizing, hey, there's a God, I'm letting this dude over, but I don't know where he wanna go. But there's a God who is bigger than me. This is what you gotta tell yourself. There's a God that's bigger than me, that's greater than I am, that has greater thoughts than I have, greater plans for my life than I can even imagine or think. I'm going to follow what he has for me rather than what I can think for myself and what I have for myself. That's what I'm doing right now. I didn't want to quit or, or, or just leave everything I had in Virginia behind and say, you know what? I'm going to move to Charlotte and I'm going to start my own business. Now, God told me that he led me that way. God told me about the job that I should take. They end up leading me to understanding, hey, I got introduced to building apps through the other company. They didn't build apps. They didn't do anything. They made emulators. From that, I, I started to understand that what God wanted me to do. It's getting hot in here. It's raining. Let this down. But then again, my second point is to pick up your cross and follow him, which was really my first point, but I didn't speak it first. But that's my first point. 
is to pick up your cross and follow God. We have to, 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 to die for ourselves, our flesh, and pick up our cross and follow the one who we really love. Dang, I'm letting everybody over, I guess. <laughs> but, okay, you go ahead and get over too, man. I guess everybody want to get over in front of me, but I'm okay. I'm making a video. I got all the patience in the world. That's the fruit of the spirit. But like I was saying, you, you, you got to understand, hey, I can't live for God and at the same time, be disobedient and and do what I want to do over what he wants to do. Once I give him my yes, I'm 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 God's. You know? I I am God's. Not saying that I'm a God, but I that 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 who I that's who I belong to. I belong to God. That's who I live for. When I give God my yes, that's who I live for. That's who I belong to. That's the price that I've been bought with. I'm no longer my own, my own person. I am God's. I'm a child of God. I am no longer a child of the enemy, you know? Before, before we are children of God, we're children of this world. We're children of Satan who is the prince and the god of this world. I got my laptop sitting on the console like I'm a cop. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And then my last point I want to talk about here pretty... I hope I didn't delete this. Oh, to accept the plan that God got for you. It's one thing for me to pick up my cross and say, okay, God, I'm living for you. Another thing to say, okay, I'm going to throw away my plans I have for my life and I'm going to follow yours to, to then, you know, accepting that plan to say, okay, God, this is what you want me to do. I'm, I'm going to do it. Like I said earlier, it comes to a point in time where you got to realize he who is greater in me. It's greater than who is of the world. Something like that. I'm paraphrasing, but you have to understand how God great is and how how He plans the He just knows it all. He plans it all. Like even things that that might look crazy to us, God got it under control. And we just have the faith, we just gotta have the faith to believe in that and have the faith to trust and follow and say, okay. I might not know what this is going to lead me to. I might not know who, what's going to happen. But I know you're leading me to go here, so I'm going to do it. This event I went to today, I'm chilling, working at 10 something, 10. I'm, what, 10 30, I think I found out about the event. When I look, get on Instagram, they say, hey, from another group, hey, it's an event going on. And me, I'm more of an introvert. I don't really go to a lot of networking events, even though I know I should, uh, just because I don't know what to do when I get there. I'm not a talkative person. I don't, like I'll talk to someone, but I don't start the conversation or nothing like that. I'll keep it going, especially if it's interesting, but you know, God told me to go there. He led me to go to, to that place, you know? He told, actually he told me. So you know what I did? I pondered. I said, I can sit right here and say, oh, I don't know if I want to go because I don't, I'm not really good at networking or events and blah, blah, blah. Or I can say, hey, from previous experiences of me being disobedient before and me being obedient to what God has told me to do, I can sit right here and say, I'm going to do what you're, what you're telling me to do because from the past experiences of from what you told me to do and how they ended up, it was amazing. I never could have seen it. And from the past experience of me being disobedient and saying, oh, I should have did that what God told me to do because of blah, 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 where I didn't see it then. It's two, it's two sides to it. 
it's the same it goes around it says obedience is better than sacrifice and I strongly believe that I don't know if that's in the Bible or not um, but I, I hear it occasionally that obedience is better than sacrifice and I can and after experience I can totally agree with that from my experience that when I'm when I'm obedient to God and do what he tells me to do regardless of what it may look like it ends up so much better than what I could imagine it to be or imagine how it goes because me personally when it's time to do something I like to imagine out you know imagine how things are going to go imagine oh I'm going to talk to this person or the conversation is going to go like this I got to throw all that away and say I'm taking my hands off of it I'm taking how I may perceive it dang Dang, I'm how you look. Dang. I'm taking my hands off of it. I'm taking how I may perceive it. And I'm saying, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do what God told me to do. It's just simple. As simple as that. It's just the part where you got to do it. You just got to do it. The hardest thing about doing it is just actually starting to do it. I think that's the only thing I got to say. For this video but i just want to get this quick video out because essentially what i'm saying right now is hey i know i need to make these videos instead of me getting on here and saying oh i need to do it this way i need to do it that way just do the video i just need to start i gotta have a starting point where i can see myself doing the video being consistent with the video uh, uploading the videos to get to a point where it's like oh let me plan this out. Like I planned what I wanted to talk about because I don't want to get on here and start rambling because I can easily do that. But I want to get to a point where I planned out and I had the topics that I want to make sure that I touch upon and the things around it. So I'm not just up here talking just to talk, but I'm talking to, to help someone, to help you. Will you answer the call that God has for your life, all your life? Because for me, I want what God got for me, you know what I'm saying? I want what the Lord has for me. I know some people probably don't want it. Some people probably don't want what God for them. Some people, salvation is enough, you know? That's, I love salvation, but I want more. I, if God got more than salvation for me, which he does, I want more than that. I don't want Oh, you, you, you're saved from damnation. You have the salvation gift and, and you're going to heaven. But there's more that I have for you. Right where you live on earth right now, I have more for you. And for me to say, nah, God, I don't want that. Salvation is enough. No, nah, I want everything the Lord has for me. Forget what I want for myself. I want what God got for me. I don't want a part of the cake. If he got the whole cake to offer. I want the whole cake. I want the whole cake. God got it. I want it. I am a son of God. Read that. <laughs> I am a child of God. I inherit what he has. He has everything. I want to inherit everything that he has God got abundance for me I want abundance God got freedom for me I want the freedom God got life for me I want the life God got a wife for me I want the wife you know but the most important thing out of all of it is the salvation though I will tell you that I don't want to go out here and get things on my own I don't want to go out here and get things on my own and gain the whole world just to lose my soul. Nah, I want that, that soul person. That's priority. That's priority. What I'm telling you, you got more to offer. If you don't want everything God got to offer for you, 
you hey, this you ain't guys you ain't gotta say nothing in the video. Just watch it. And be like, dang, I really don't want everything God got for me. God got all this stuff. And the Bible got it all in there. The Bible show you how you how you need to spend your money, how you need to save your money, how you need to invest your money. The God show you how you need to invest in your uh, your relationships, your friendships, how to be a good steward over your finances, over your life, over your children, over your husbands, over your wives. Hey, that's one thing. I mean, I mean, hey, I want the salvation God got from me. I received that. Well, I, already, I received the salvation the Lord has for me. But there's some more stuff God got for me. I want to receive those things too. You know? It's a calling on my life. And I want to walk in it. Because more than anything, I want to be that vessel. While I walk in the calling that God got on my life. And because I do that, through, well, from him, through me, I see people turn away from what they're doing with and they turn to God. That's the number one thing I want to see. I want to see people get their life to Christ. And then I want to see people who've already given their life to Christ to accept everything that he has for them. I, I really don't like seeing brothers and sisters in Christ go through things that they don't have to go through. I really don't like seeing brothers and sisters in Christ go through things that they don't have to go through. I just wanted to get back on here again real quick and just say <clears throat> about the piece of the pie. This is why I say it because I feel like a lot of people give their life to Christ. They live for him. They worship him. They give their life to Christ, but they still deal with things that he has paid for. They still deal with the sicknesses. They still deal with the addictions. They still deal with uh, provision, uh, financial issues. We have the power. We have the dominion over these things. When are we going to tap in and say, God, you gave me the victory over this. I'm going to follow you to receive it. I'm going to follow you to get what you paid for. I'm not just going to stop at salvation. I want the healing that you that you paid for as well. I want the provision you paid for as well. I want the the breakthrough, the 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 freedom of the bondages. The enemy runs rapid to find any speculation, anything to keep you from running to God with the things that you have. The things that you have that you're dealing with, the enemy will try so hard to distract you. He can't stop you, but he can distract you. If he distracts you, oh, that, ooh. And I've been distracted before, and I'm telling you out of experience. I'm telling you out of experience where it's like, I look and be like, dang, I, I'm, I probably could have been more ahead of life, but I got distracted. And I had to turn back and run back to God. But that's all I'm saying. I feel like people are just getting a piece of the pie that God has. We're in a new covenant with many gifts. But some people are just satisfied with a part, a slice of the gifts. I want all of them. And I want to help people. I, I don't even say help people. I want to show people. Th these are the other gifts. I want the spiritual gifts. You know? I want even more spiritual gifts. I want to live it. A hundred percent. And it's one thing to say all this, and it's another thing to do it. I want to live it a hundred percent. I want to live it a hundred percent. Uh 
as the song to worship you I live to live to worship you oh, oh, oh. I don't know if that was right <laughs> but, to worship you I live to worship you I live I live to worship you that's a whole lot of ways to worship God oh, oh. But this thing about 21 minutes long, I'm about to edit it. So thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all later. Let's see if we still got it. Achoo!